There's never been a time when God wasn't working on our behalf. He was working through a woman when she poured a jar of expensive perfume on Jesus' head. He was working at a dinner when Jesus and his disciples shared the Last Supper. He was working during an agonizing prayer when Jesus pleaded in the Garden of Gethsemane while his disciples slept. He was working through a traitor's kiss when Judas betrayed him and armed men arrested Jesus. He was working through the chief priests when they tried him, spit in his face, and struck Jesus with their fists. He was working through a weak disciple when Peter called down curses upon himself and denied even knowing Jesus. He was working through a governor when Pilate released a notorious prisoner and brutally flogged Jesus until he was bloody. He was working through a manipulated crowd when they shouted all the louder, crucify him. He was working through mocking soldiers when they twisted a crown of thorns onto Jesus' head and led him to a place called Golgotha. He was working through the wood and steel when they drove nails into his hands and crucified the King of Kings on the cross. He was working through the Son of Man when he cried out in a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He was working through the shedding of blood as it drained from Jesus' lifeless body. He was working through a rich man when he took Jesus' body, wrapped it in clean linen cloth, and laid him to rest in the tomb. He was working in the sudden silence, in the abandonment by his heavenly Father, in the confusion and fear of the disciples, and then he was working through a stone that was rolled away, a tomb that was empty, an angel that said, he is not here, he has risen. And so the Father was working through the resurrection power that brought Jesus back to life. And to this very day, he is working on our behalf through the trials, temptations, and tests, making the impossible possible, bringing life to the lifeless and power to the powerless through the miraculous love of the Father and His risen Son. For Jesus is risen and forever alive.